If you were asked to name a fearless animal, you would probably say lion, tiger, wolf, rhino, or another big and dangerous predator. But according to the Guinness Book of World Records, the world's most fearless creature is the honey badger. Yes, honey badger, you heard right. If you don't believe me, try this. If you Google the world's most fearless creature, who do you find? Likely, you will see this fierce little African animal in the results. The honey badger, also known as the rattle, is a mammal native to areas of Africa and Asia, from southern Morocco to Africa's southern tip, and western Asia's Caspian Sea, Turkmenistan, Afghanistan, Nepal, and western India. They live mainly in dry areas, but are also found in forests and grasslands. As suggested by their name, honey badgers have always been associated with bees. Apart from man, they are the most destructive mammalian predators of honeybees in Africa, and they can and do cause substantial losses to both traditional and commercial beekeepers. While honey is not a necessary part of a honey badger's diet, the highly nutritious bee brood is a sought-after delicacy, and this brings them into conflict with beekeepers. The honey part of their name also comes from a supposed relationship they have with the honey guide birds. The honey guide bird can locate honey in a bee's nest, but is unable to get the honey for itself, so it guides the badger to the nest. The badger cannot find the nest easily by itself, but once shown the nest by the bird, the badger can open the nest with relative ease using its huge claws. The badger eats the honey at once, and the bird feeds on the remains. Despite popular belief, there is no evidence that honey guides guide the honey badger. Honey badgers are the largest terrestrial mustelids in Africa. Adults measure 23 to 28 centimeters, 9.1 to 11 inches in shoulder height, and 55 to 77 centimeters, 22 to 30 inches in body length with the tail adding another 12 to 30 centimeters, 4.7 to 11.8 inches. Females are smaller than males. In Africa, males weigh 9 to 16 kilograms, 20 to 35 pounds, while females weigh 5 to 10 kilograms, 11 to 22 pounds on average. The mean weight of adult honey badgers from different areas has been reported at anywhere between 6.4 to 12 kilograms, 14 to 26 pounds, with a median of roughly 9 kilograms, 20 pounds, per various studies. The honey badger is mostly solitary, but has also been sighted in Africa to hunt in pairs during the breeding season in May. It also uses old burrows of aardvark, warthog, and termite mounds. It is a skilled digger, able to dig tunnels into the hard ground in 10 minutes. These burrows usually have only one entry, are usually only 1 to 3 meters, 3.3 to 9.8 feet long, with a nesting chamber that is not linked with any bedding. Honey badgers usually only attack when surprised by predators, which often happens when they're digging. With poor eyesight and their noses in the ground, they can be oblivious to their surroundings. The honey badger has the least specialized diet of the weasel family, next to the wolverine. It accesses a large part of its food by digging it out of burrows. It favors honey and often searches for beehives. It also feeds on insects, frogs, tortoises, turtles, lizards, rodents, snakes, birds, and eggs. When foraging for vegetables, it lifts stones or tears bark from trees. Some individuals have even been observed to chase away lion cubs from kills. It devours all parts of its prey, including skin, hair, feathers, flesh, and bones, holding their food down with their forepaws. It feeds on a wide range of vertebrates and seems to subsist primarily on small vertebrates. Honey badgers studied in Kaglagati Transfrontier Park preyed largely on geckos and skinks, gerbils and mice. The bulk of their prey comprised species weighing more than 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, such as cobras, young African rock python, and South African spring hare. 
In the Kalahari, honey badgers were also observed to attack domestic sheep and goats, kill and eat black mambas. So, what makes honey badgers so tough? Honey badgers have many reasons to be fearless. They have very thick, rubbery skin, which is so tough that it's been shown to be nearly impervious to traditionally made arrows and spears. Further, their skin can take a full blow from a sharp machete without necessarily cutting the skin all the way through. More practically, this skin helps protect the honey badger from the teeth of predators. Along with being thick and very tough, the honey badger's skin is also fairly loose, which allows it quite a bit of freedom of movement within the skin. This particularly aids it when it's being attacked by larger predators and finds itself in the predator's clutches. It can then squirm about in its skin and get its long claws and mouth with sharp teeth in such a position to harm the predator that's holding it. This makes it particularly unsafe for an animal to hold the honey badger in its jaws unless it kills it instantly, which is difficult. The honey badger can simply squirm around and viciously attack the creature's face and eyes. While the honey badger might ultimately die in such an encounter, the animal that killed it will likely think twice before attacking another honey badger. It turns out there is almost no safe place to hold a honey badger without it being able to get itself in a position to attack you. It is thought that if you manage to grab the honey badger by the back of the neck and hold it at arm's length in the air, that this may be a safe way to hold one, but not a lot of volunteers are out there to test this theory. Along with sharp teeth, honey badgers also have incredibly powerful jaws. This is helpful because the honey badger will eat every part of its prey, including the bones. The jaws are even powerful enough to eat a turtle, including the shell, without difficulty. Not only this, but they are naturally not very affected by many types of stings and venom. They can even get bitten by king cobras and puff adders multiple times with little effect. Though a strike from something like a puff adder that manages to actually penetrate their skin will eventually knock the honey badger out for a couple hours. Although it is not known exactly how the honey badger's body resists the effects of these type of deadly venom, it is thought that if the snakes could strike them enough, it's likely the venom would eventually kill the honey badger. Unfortunately for the snake though, they are unlikely to survive long enough in a battle with the honey badger to strike it enough to kill it. Further, it takes time for the venom to take effect, so even if they manage to knock it out, the snake will likely already be dead when this happens. Along with its innate toughness, the honey badger is also incredibly intelligent. It has even been observed using tools to catch prey. Interestingly, the honey badger also has a reversible anal pouch which has an incredibly strong stifling odor. They have been observed to use this stench as an additional form of defense against large predators like lions. This combination of remarkable innate defensive and offensive capabilities has resulted in the honey badger seemingly fearing few things. Their aggressiveness has also resulted in few predators, which normally might try to eat something the honey badger's size, choosing to avoid the animal. Even predators such as lions and leopards tend to give the honey badger a large berth, though honey badgers have been known to be killed by lions and leopards. At the same time though, they've also been observed to chase lions off of a kill and take it for their own, including one instance where three honey badgers chased off seven lions from a kill the lions were eating. Fearless indeed. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and to hit the subscription button. Thanks for watching. See you next time.